Hello and welcome to Taz Plus. My name is Martin Perhiniak. In this video, I'm going to show you a great new feature of the Creative Cloud membership, how to synchronize fonts that you can use on web and on your desktop as well using Adobe Typekit. So this is a feature which has been recently made available through the Creative Cloud application. If you haven't downloaded this yet, make sure you do it if you have a Creative Cloud membership because here you will be able to manage and access all the fonts that you can get from Typekit. So first of all, I can see that I have two fonts here already synchronized to my computer and these are font families. So it says that all of these plus 10 others, uh, so that's a set of fonts actually. So if I click on browse fonts on Typekit, it will open this website which will show me lots of different font families. But before I have a closer look at this, I would like to show you why do I need a new font. So I just go back to InDesign and my issue with this layout for this uh, cinema magazine cover is that I have one font mainly used uh, called Babas, which is great, but I would like to see a different font probably for this text here in this uh, yellow circle. So I would like to make that a little bit stand out even more. So for that reason, I'm going to search for a font and uh, the best thing about Adobe Typekit is that it will automatically synchronize with my computer once I choose a font from here. So I don't have to do anything with it. I don't have to download it or install it. And it will make sure that I will be able to use this in any applications on my computer even if it's not a Creative Cloud application. So you can use it in previous versions of Adobe products and you can also use it in other non-Adobe applications like Microsoft Word or Pages or Keynote and so on and so forth. So let's have a look at the Typekit website. Uh, first of all, you have to log in, uh, but I'm already logged in. And uh, I would like to have a look at the options here. I can type in anything to be able to uh, see that as a text. So I can just type in uh, the text actually, what I have here, free unseen posters. So let me just type that, free unseen posters. And I can choose this view where this will be more visible, the text, and I can reduce it as well. So that's a perfect way to preview the fonts that I can download from Typekit. So you just need to change the options here. And then you can also decide what to view, the featured fonts or the newest fonts. And you can even search by name or sort it by name. But I'm going to choose classifications actually. There's lots of classifications here. First of all, the most common ones or the biggest classifications, sans serif fonts or serif fonts. So I can choose between one of these. I can choose also slap serif, script, black letter and so on and so forth. So it very quickly updates and I can quickly switch between these by just pressing one of these buttons. And then comes the interesting part where we can uh, filter out the fonts available on Typekit based on whether they can be used on desktop or web. So if I use desktop use, then at the bottom here we will see that we are viewing 14 fonts only for script uh, classification which is available for desktop there's only 14 fonts but if i select web use and turn off the desktop use then we will have 52 so much more options we have we can also have both of them selected so web use and desktop use that means these are available as web fonts as well but they can also be synchronized to our desktop then we can also choose what are these fonts recommended for, paragraphs or headings. That's a great feature again. In my case, I would probably choose headings. And actually, I'm not sure if I need this as a web uh, font, so I will just keep desktop use and headings selected. Now I only have two fonts these two that is classified as script font. It's available for desktop use and is recommended for headings. But there's even more options here, of course, if we want to look for weight or uh, caps only or contrast or width, there's 
many more options here we can choose from and even language support we can select for the special characters that's needed in these uh, languages so I'm going to choose this one here the FF market uh, font so I'm going to click on use font and all I need to do is to select the sync to your computer using Creative Cloud I get a message here on the top right that the font is already added to my computer so that's great I just need to remember its name I can click on done if I forget the name I can always come to the fonts and here I can see exactly what has been synced recently to my computer and I can also go to manage fonts and then here on uh, the website I can see that these are the fonts that I sync to my computer so it's not that difficult to find them and all I need to do now is to go back to InDesign select that text that I have here and all I need to do now is just to type in market by the way whenever you want to change the font once you have a uh, text selected in InDesign you can press command 6 or control 6 and that will select the font selector area that is if you have the character formatting control selected so make sure that you have that selected and in that case this keyboard shortcut will work and then we can uh, type in market uh, so that's it market OT and I can click on OK and by the way as another creative cloud uh, feature we can save this as a favorite font so if I come to the options that I recently used I can just mark this as a favorite font so it will make it easier next time to use it by just showing the favorite fonts I will find it much easier so that's a, another cool feature there and all I need to do now is to extend uh, this a little bit make it a little bit bigger and maybe just reduce uh, the leading between these and probably it would be better if I have uh, all capitals on this text here unseen posters maybe posters as well can be uh, all capitals just make it a bit smaller and I think that works fine I just wanted to show you how it, this feature works and uh, before I end this video I would like to also make sure that I answer any questions that might be asked about this feature so first question will I have to be online to use the fonts that I've synced Synced fonts will be available for offline use as long as the Creative Cloud application is running in the background Quitting the app will make the synced fonts temporarily unavailable. Another question might arise from this, that what happens to my desktop fonts if my subscription ends? Well, the answer to that is that fonts that you get via desktop sync will be available on your desktop for as long as your subscription remains active and the Creative Cloud desktop application is running. If you discontinue your subscription or uninstall the Creative Cloud desktop application, desktop fonts from Typekit will be removed. If you then wish to continue using those fonts in the documents you created, you will need to purchase the necessary license from the Foundry or an authorized reseller. And another interesting question, how will that work when my print bureau requires me to send a packaged version of an InDesign folder? The answer to that is that the Typekit terms of use do not allow copying or moving of font data that has been synced to your desktop computer. Print, bureau print bureaus will be able to access desktop fonts through their own Creative Cloud or Typekit subscriptions or you can create a PDF to transfer for print output. Note that most existing font license agreements, including that for the Adobe Type Library and Fontfolio, do not allow sending font files to third parties unless that third party has their own license to the same font. These might all seem a bit harsh uh, policies from Adobe, but to be honest, all you need to have is a Creative Cloud membership and then <laughs> as long as you are subscribed, you won't have to worry about problems with the fonts. And I know there's a lot of people who are concerned about the price of the Creative Cloud membership, but you have to understand that it's not only about 
the applications, but also these several additional features that come with the membership, like Adobe Typekit. I hope this video was interesting and useful, and if you are interested to learn more about Adobe InDesign CC, make sure you join me next time as well here on Plus. Thanks a lot for your attention.